Hey everybody, how you doing today? I wanted to talk to you about uh, the book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, written by Dale Carnegie. And it's a classic book, self-help book, a uh, book that'll make you gain influence, be able to be a better friend, be a better business person. Uh, I've read it, it's helped me tremendously. Uh, the, the way the book is set up, um, at the end of every chapter, he gives a main, like the main focus that he wants you, that Dale Carnegie wanted you to get out of the chapter. And what I did is, I'm, what I'm going to do here for you today is just read to you each main point that he put at the end of each chapter, if you don't have the time to read the book. So the first part of the book, uh, it's set up in like four sections. So the first section, section one, is called Techniques in Handling People. Okay, so number one. Here are the three techniques that he talks about for handling people. Number one, don't criticize. Number two, give sincere appreciation. And number three, spark the interest of other people and spark the, their interest and the want in another person. So that was part, three, part, part one, techniques in handling people. So... Part two, part two of the book is called Six Ways to Make People Like You. And here are the six ways. This is part two. Learn, number one, learn to be interested in other people. So you have to be interested in the other person in order for them to be interested in you or to like you. Number five, number one, develop, number two, develop a winning smile. So you have to learn how to smile. Can't walk around looking mad all the time. Number three, Learn to remember people's names. He says that one of the, the, the most important word to a person is their name. Number four, be a great listener and let other people talk. Let the other person do more of the talking and you'll be called a great listener. Number eight, find out what are the, are the interests of the other person. What are they interested in? Do they like hunting? Do they like fishing? Learn something about the person. Get to know them. Find out what they like. And number six, make the other people feel important. So you have to make someone else feel important. Okay, so part three of the book is called How to Win the Thinking, Someone Else's Thinking to, to Thinking Your Way. So in other words, you're trying to get someone to think, take your idea, how to get them to think your way. And here are the ways. Avoid arguments if possible. So you want to avoid arguing with people. You want to show respect for the opinion of others. He said it's very important to never say you're wrong. Be willing to admit when you are wrong. Begin conversation or anything like that in a friendly way. If you know that you're going to go into negotiations or whatever it is, begin in a friendly way. You want to get the other person... You want to get the other person saying yes as soon as possible in the, in the conversation, in the uh, negotiations. I believe this was called the Socratic method. Let the other person do most of the talking. You listen. Let others feel that, that the idea is theirs. So like if you come to a negotiation or things like that and you come up with a plan together, let the other person feel that it's theirs, even though you know that you're getting your what you want out of it. Doesn't matter who gets the credit, in other words. See things from the other person's point of view. And this is kind of like the main point of the whole book that he wants you to know. Start to see things from the other person's point of view. Be sympathetic to the ideas and desires of others. Appeal to the nobler motives. So like if someone, if you know, you tell them like, hey, I really trust you. I know you come from a great family. And that's appealing to their nobler motives. Dramatize your ideas. He says, hey, the movies do it. Commercials do it. Um, amusement parks do it. Make you think that roller coaster is bigger than what it really is. Dramatize your ideas. Throw down a challenge. People love a good challenge. So that was part three. Okay, part four is called, is called being a leader. How to change people without causing resentment. Number one. Always begin with praise. And always remember to keep the praise sincere. Two, call attention to mistakes indirectly. 
So you don't want to like be harsh when you point out mistakes. Do it indirectly in a way. Three, talk about your own mistakes first. So if you have to point out mistakes, it's a good thing to start off with pointing out something you've done wrong yourself. That will soften it kind of. Four, ask questions instead of giving orders. Instead of saying, be here at 8 o'clock. You can say, uh, what time do you think is a good idea for us to be here? Number five, let the other person save face. If you're in a conversation you know, and you know someone's wrong and, and you hear them saying something wrong, he says, sometimes it's better to let the other person save face. And at another time, as long as it's not going to hurt anybody, you want to let them save face and let them maybe know at a later time or, or somehow do it without embarrassing them. Praise all improvements. So if you see improvement, praise it. Number seven, give them a good reputation to live up to. Eight, use encouragement. Nine, make the other person happy about getting done what you desire. So once again, this is this what these were the main points of how to win friends and influence people by Dale Carnegie. He says that the main point of all the things that he tried to teach you in this book and try to get you to learn, the main thing was to start to see the other person's point of view. Put yourself in their shoes before you make a decision. Thank you. It's a great book. I would encourage you to read it. But this will give you a start to let you know what the book is about. Thank you.